Hey everybody, this is Daryl at HudsonsCustomMachining.com and we're back in the shop today working on this old Emerson fan. This is a 27666 Emerson and we're now on part three. This, this video should be part three. If you go back and look at part two, you'll see where I had everything disassembled but everything was still all dirty and nasty and I hadn't cleaned anything up yet. So I'm starting that process now. <clears throat> I've got the motor housing here. The motor housing is just come out of the bead blasting cabinet. I've got it all cleaned up. You can even see the casting number down in there. Motor housing cleaned up real good. I'm going to replace that brass bushing right there. That's got a left hand thread. That's got a left hand thread. It's too tight. I can't get it out. But I'm going to put a new uh, bushing in there. And this motor housing is going to require a little bit more work. See, we've got some pericity right there around the edge. See right here and some different places around where we've got some pitting. So we're not quite ready for paint. I've got to do a little sanding and um, getting this ready. Hey, 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 would you mind? Would you give me a break? Would you be quiet for just a minute, please? Okay? Give me a minute. <laughs> so anyway, we got, we got all the rivets out of the blade. We got all the leaves off the blade here. The hub's been bead blasted and cleaned and cleaned out down in here and, and ready for paint. I'll have to make all new rivets to go in there. The brass is all going to get polished. The stator I've not done anything with. I've cleaned up the rotor. The rotor's all cleaned up and ready to go back. And I've got a new leather rotor seal on here. Now this <clears throat> leather seal right here is what keeps the fan from slinging oil. When the blade goes on, this blade hub goes on here. And it seats, it screws on here, and it seats down against this leather seal. There's oil in this blade hub because oil goes through. There's actually an oil galley down in this rotor down inside of here. And this oil recirculates. Uh, so this leather seal is what keeps the fan from slinging oil all over the wall. Anytime you break down an, an, an Emerson fan that's got a single bearing motor like this, you need to replace this rotor seal right here. And I make these right here in the shop. They're $3.50, guys. Don't take a chance to, uh, of not replacing this rotor seal <clears throat> when you're working on your Emerson fans. Go ahead and put a new seal on there. I showed you the base, how badly uh, rusted the base was. It was rusted up so bad I couldn't even get the knuckle out uh, to get the motor apart on it. We had to cut this, we had to cut this off. But I found, <clears throat> I found another base out in my, my boneyard. Uh, it's an identical base to that one, so I've got to get it uh, stripped down, get all this, this paint off of here and get it stripped. The struts, that's what holds the cage. Uh, the uh, gearbox, I've not gotten into the gearbox yet. It's still all rusted up pretty bad. A lot of hardware in there I've not done anything with. And here's the old switch right here. I've not done anything with the switch yet. But anyway, wanted to show you this. It's coming along. Got a little more work to do, but that's where I'm at here today. So thanks for looking at the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it's been informative and, and entertaining to you. And uh, y'all please subscribe to my, my videos. And we'll catch you on the next one. All right, y'all take care.